DEATH OF JADEN AND SOME OTHER RECENT VIOLENT CRIMES INVOLVING TEENS HAVE MANY NEW MEXICANS WONDERING IF A CURFEW IS NEEDED. AND CITY COUNCIL IS TAKING UP THE ISSUE WITH THEIR MEETING TONIGHT. ACTION 7 NEWS REPORTER SANDRA RAMIREZ IS LIVE WITH THE DETAILS. SANDRA, GOOD MORNING. Good morning, Marissa Todd. Yeah, this would actually not be the very first time the city has considered a curfew. Back in the 90s, Albuquerque police actually enforced a curfew, but the state Supreme Court struck it down. Now, city councilors are reaching out to Governor Susana Martinez to ask her. They have drafted a resolution asking her to put this issue at the top of the 2016 legislative session. Now, the city document says crimes usually happen late at night, and a curfew would keep teens away from that bad behavior. Also, if a teen were to violate a curfew, it would allow police to talk to parents and family members about how to help their child's behavior. Jaden Chavez Silver's mother says a curfew would not have prevented her son's death because he was actually shot before 10 p.m., but she believes it would help in other violent cases in Albuquerque. You know, a curfew may help not being at public parks at that, you know, the wee hours of the morning. Now, under the previous curfew back in the 90s, teenagers were not allowed between midnight and 5 a.m. Now, Mayor Richard Berry has previously told us that a curfew is not the only solution and would like to see other options to keep teens off the streets late at night. Reporting live, Sandra Ramirez, KOAT Action 7 News.